Pray, sister. Pray. Pray for the word. So there's mic. So there's mic. Turn that. Just pray. Whether in calls or what. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this scripture, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this day, Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yesterday is gone, but today may never be mine, Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we hope that you put our hands over over this Bible, Lord Jesus Christ, and over us, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue to have this day ministers to us, Lord Jesus Christ, we wish we keep it keep it in our minds, Lord Jesus Christ, and we remember Moses' veil, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah, God well, bless you. God well, bless you. Yeah. Oh, we lifted up our
worship you. We adore you this morning. Father, we open up our hearts for them that Lord, your word may dig deep, oh God, that Lord, it may expose, it may rebuild, Lord, it may uproot, it may correct, it may heal. But Lord, I pray, Heavenly Father, that Lord, shut our, our ears, Lord God Almighty, and open up our spirit to you, that Lord, we may be able to receive, to conceive, Lord, your word. Father, we silence every voice of the enemy and we pray Israel already do whatever it's intended to do, Lord, in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing that falls God on We thank you. We bless you, Lord. Amen. May be seated, saints, and just take your seats. Could never come forward, and now, now we're just coming to the side. Oh, yeah, need to be on Jaban to welcome. Yeah, thank you. We just want to welcome. Uh, I'm not sure Zia, whether we are, we are. Yeah, we welcome all of our viewers wherever they are. We have realized yes, that uh, we are no longer in, uh, I mean, uh, 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 all ministering in, in our country. We also ministering abroad. During our Passover convention, we, pass over convention. we had viewers from uh, Canada from the uh, United States of America. A United States of America. From Fiji in South America. A Fiji in South America. From the Great Britain, great, which is England. That's England, that's Great Britain. And we had also viewers from uh, New Zealand. New uh, Zealand. And uh, I'm just talking now the language of you know, overseas ministry. <laughs> and uh, not only in, <clears throat> in that, but also in India. And Pakistan. And uh, we, 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 you know, I don't want to say we don't know what the Lord is doing. It is the fulfillment of what was being spoken in this ministry. That God is going through this ministry is going to be touching the nations. In Africa, it's Zim. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Zambia Malawi, Malawi, Namibia, and, Namibia. and uh, what else? Which other country? Kenya, Kenya, Kenya Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah, so almost the SADC, um, no, 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 South so African SADC. development uh, countries, uh, uh, they, were, they were watching. Now, so the countries, now, so the I'm not saying it was I mean, it's just a once off. From the beginning of our sessions during the Passover convention, people were watching and making comments. So we are no longer here as we see us here. We're touching the nations today. Mm. So some of the people will be looking at you as in America. Mm. Said, oh, I saw that man there mm. sitting there, and people in America will be seeing who could never hear. And the Kinaba will become a celebrity in America. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it's good to serve the Lord, Kinab. Mm. Yeah, because uh, to to make a quality decision about your life. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. That is why this morning we invite people from New Zealand, from Canada, from the United States of America, and from, New, from India to come and join us. You are going to see my band to go from India, United America, from Africa. Africa now. And say next weekend, <laughs> come next weekend, we'll be having a a gathering of men. Mm. And it's called Covenant Keepers. Praise God. 
And we have our gathering next weekend. We want those people in those countries that I've mentioned. They must begin to spread the message to but, their people there. Mm. And group themselves I mean, within, within their WhatsApp, I mean, within their WhatsApp groups. <laughs> and know that we'll begin, we'll start having sessions Friday. Mm. This coming Friday, Friday 6th, I mean, wherever Zimbabwe, whatever, know that there's a ministry called Covenant Keepers. It's a men's I mean, ministry. South Africans, I mean, be on, uh, on our alert that there is a conference, a gathering that is coming of men. Mm. And the theme is no, not any other fancy theme. Mm. It says straight talk to me. That's what we want to talk about. Straight talk to teenagers. Straight talk to young people, to young men. Straight talk to married men. That's what we'll be doing in this in this coming weekend. Not one of um, not a single man is not going to make it. Yet. All going to be here. All going to stand before the Lord and make sure that we. Are minister to and that's why we invite all the group. your whatsapp groups overseas make sure that you invite all of them we're going to send the poster the title this morning it's nowhere else it's where i mean we're taking from the scripture where we took the i mean we, we named this ministry from <laughs> from 2 Corinthians chapter 3 where the scripture reading we're reading the scripture from mm. it's titled I mean this morning the, the ministry of I mean uh, of the new covenant that's where we took the, I mean, the, the name of, the, of our men's fellowship I just want to explain briefly this morning what it means to have a ministry of a new covenant. It has got nothing to do with men to be, I mean, to be precise only. Mm. But we loved it because we knew that it speaks, I mean, uh, clearly to, I mean, what men are supposed to be doing. But it also speaks to the entire body of Christ, to men and women. Mm. If I'm reading from a Bible, of which means the scripture was already read. Yeah. Very important for the good girl for scripture reading. You are going to be reading the teenagers, the scriptures, every Sunday. So that you get used to, to stand in front of the congregation. And pray. You were afraid, but you prayed. We, ne- we didn't want anything to pray fancy. We wanted to pray your heart. That's why, so all of you, you must never think that I have to go to a certain school so that I can pray better. There's no better school for prayer. Mm. Because when you pray, you pray your heart to God. You connect with God. You must never be ashamed. Never be. You never think that, you know, I'm not praying in the manner that is going to be acceptable to people. No. It's you and God. And when you pray for the congregation, you pray for the message. To touch our hearts, that's all. Praise God. So, yeah, if from, if, 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 I mean, the title from my Bible in the, uh, chapter 3, it says changed lives prove ministry. Changed lives it proves ministry. Because let me be honest of what is happening in these days. We have adopted a religion out of Christianity where people 
Even if their lives are not changed by the word. They still claim to be born again and Christians. And they still say, Nam and they claim and say, I am I, I, I'm saved. There is this thing that you always think that you are not saved. Just because you are not with you. The Bible is very clear. When lives, lives are changed, transformed by the word of God. It proves the reality of what mean the, the word of God does in the life of a person. It proves ministry. It's only happening when lives are changed. It's happening when OD and people say we know that man before. But now we're talking to a different man. He used to be like this. I like that. Because when people begin to say, you know, I mean, how, how, how I mean, your, your pastor was. Mm. I was thirteen doors I kept behind the pulpit. Yes, I was feeling. Come on, he passed. And the congregation will say, "Yes, he speaks those things." For the Bible says, says "If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation." That's what we're looking for in our country. Problems that we encounter in our country. It's men who do not have God in their hearts. Simple. Because God-fearing men will never rape a woman. I'm not talking about religious men who claim to be carrying a Bible and talking like I mean a, a religious person. Because I know what the world think of us in yeah, yeah. these days, in these last days. <laughs> you pastors also are being ra rapists, convicted of being raped. And it's true, people who claim to be pastors, as we speak even now, they are in court, they are raping, they are doing all sorts of things. You read the papers. They are killing some. I mean, are organizing that men must come and kill their wives. Mm. Those are men who do not have the ministry of this new covenant. Because this is what I'm going to be talking about this morning. It's the ministry of that new covenant which brings about changed lives to prove what the ministry does in the life of a person. Hallelujah. 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 And I so wish that men will begin to send messages to men out there to their friends to watch our live stream uh, 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 what is it? Live stream video whatever that is going to be happening next Friday. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, and Paul is saying you are our epistle. Epistle written in our hearts. It's a testimony of the people that have been ministered to whose lives have changed. It's a testimony of whose life has been changed and is known in that community. I got it. 
that we know this man that this man was like this and that but he no longer continues in the same habits and lifestyle that he used to be engaged, involved in he's a changed man the community attests to that. Now, coming to us as we are ministering in that area, Stair and Bell, and Pastor Gwasaba, they can say, You, Kinnan, and the others, you are our epistle written in our hearts that fully what we received from God that changed our lives. We shared, we ministered it to you. In return, it is written in our hearts as a testimony that if you are changed by the Spirit and the Word of God, you have a potential of reaching out to other men where the same Spirit, those men will be changed when they are convicted by the Spirit that we have received. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. This thing is not about religious people. That's why Paul is saying that. Send so you are our epistle. Known and read by all men. Everybody can read it. And if a person says a person does, uh, does not have a potential to change, no. Plus, it's been said by, by, by religious people. They are quick to go to the scripture that says, do not judge. Do not judge. We are all. I'm mean, going to be judged by God. Let me share some few thoughts around that. The Bible says, do not judge. Because with the same judgment, you judge with you're also going to be judged. And it according to the Bible says, if you want to judge, to point something that is wrong to your brother, also having the plank in your eye, you cannot see clearly. Remove the plank so that you can see and be able to correct it never said we must not do that in Bible. It must say so that you when you do not have a problem, you are there to remove it first so that you be able to see clearly. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And it's continues to be made manifest that you are an epistle of Christ, ministered by us. And as we continue to minister to God's people, the, God's, these people that they are converted to Christ, they begin to be the epistle of Christ that has been ministered by us. Wow! Yo, what a glorious moment, Wazaran. It says, but it's written not with the ink, with ink, but with the spirit. Spirit of the living God. And the greatest challenge that we face in this day are the people who want to minister with their own spirits, human spirits, that has not been converted or born again. Let me repeat myself. If we have high, uh, women as hijackers, they won't even form a percentage in these days. Men are the problem. Simple to say, men without God are animals. And if it's lonely, they can do all sorts of bad things. 
How can you sleep with a baby or a six month old baby? Let me not you know, identify the animals. Animals are better. Is in six months. They don't sleep with her. Some of us born in you can never see an animal I've never seen a such thing. I've never, because the animals, they know the mating season. They understand the season. I've never seen animals, you know, not um, going according to the seasons in terms of mating. You do not sleep with children. They have been created in the image of God. It means this. Any man who has not adopted and embraced that image will be worse than an animal. Will be worse than a dog. How he does things will be worse because he has lost the image of his only creator. That's why we say the ministry that we talk about this morning is the ministry of the new covenant. So why we say we are covenant keepers. We remain loyal to the ministry of the spirit. We remain aligned with what the spirit continues to minister to our lives. The Bible says if we are led by the spirit of God, we become sons of the living God. Because we align everything, our thoughts, our minds, our actions with the Spirit of God. Anything that the Spirit is ministering to us, we become obedient to the ministry of the Spirit. The ministry of the new covenant is the ministry of the demonstration of power. Is the ministry of following the lead of the Spirit. How is it that men in this country can all have the same spirit that his, the creator created us and with his intention that we must receive the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, the, the Bible says you are our epistle. You are manifestly an epistle of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Ministered by us. Written, I have said that. And verse 4 says, We have such trust through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves. To think any, I mean, of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God. Our sufficiency is from God. But I can assure you, the enemy is out there to destroy the testimony of the living God. Wherever you go in these days, you are not safe. Why? Why is it that like that? In a country of people that are supposed to be 
I mean, uh, to, to have adopted the image of their creator. I went to Holland for a Billy Graham uh, 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 conference. We conference Billy Graham. Where we we were about ten thousand ministers and evangelists from all over the world. That's when I met them in different cultures. Because I came from the place having been a little bit converted from the traditional way of thinking about the gospel. I met men who were wearing uh, uh, skirts. I'm not saying long skirts, skirts like this. And jackets. Jackets. So my eyes did not stop looking at this man. Are they saved? Yes, they are saved and they are wearing skirts. Men who are wearing skirts. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. We are fine. Yeah, there's a culture. <laughs> it chips so in. Only because I was there. <laughs> so when I was there, <laughs> just, it was like heaven on earth. <laughs> Nobody claimed to have lost any of his possessions. <laughs> you would meet people lying on the floor like this all around. It's a big, I mean, it was a big, it's like a stadium, but inside. Yes, it's stadium. It's a cupboard. <laughs> sleeping. Putting just books and then sleeping and putting the wallet next to him. To him Nothing was stolen. And I realized that if heaven is not going to be like this, but it will be something closer to what I've seen. Because here we are living with all sorts. You cannot and you say bring the, this para to that in it. Because those people have a mean, had a ministry of the spirit. Of the new covenant that has a potential to change the life of a person. When the life of a person is changed, you no longer fear a person. You begin to see God in the life of a person. But how the ministry of the new covenant does in the life of a believer. See, <laughs> That's what we are talking about in this next week. Say, talk to me. Praise God. But it's not that we are sufficient of ourselves. But our sufficiency comes somewhere. When, when men come to that point of having God in their lives, they learn how to be sufficient with what, who I am first, how God has created me with what God has blessed me with, I cannot compare myself with other people. Hear my daughter. Our sufficiency. This thing does not just start, I mean, somewhere in that corner. Men who have been raised from a wonderful family. They begin to go out there and be looking and comparing and envying and wanting to have 
More than what uh, they want to begin. They look at people driving beautiful cars. I want to have that car. How? How are you going to have it when you don't have money? The next thing you are going to take it by force. You are going to join a group that says it's easy. You can have it tomorrow. Just join us. Don't ask me because I know that I'm coming from. I grew up in Cape Town. In Cape Town. I know how my power I can do. I mean, to the life of a person. How robbers do things. And it's even worse in these days. You go to Kailicha. I'm not trying to be uh, xenophobic. But what I heard is that, I mean, foreign, foreign nationals who own shops in the, those areas, they have an agreement, a covenant with, with Maparas for, for protection, they are paying fees for protection. Is, is, is that not promoting violence or I mean corruption? I mean, uh, 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 I mean not xenophobic crime. Because they claim if you are not protected, then you are going to be robbed. You are going to be vulnerable to those people. Up until you come up, you show up. And say, guys, let me pay this fee so that even my business can be protected. It is not going to stop crime. And police, they know about it. Because you cannot tell me that there are no police, I mean, the police people, I mean, the people around those areas. They know what is happening. They know where my parents are. They know where the they know everything. That's why you find police behind the bars in these days. And they are connected. They also get something out of that. Those police people. My God. They need a ministry of a new covenant. The ministry of the spirit. The ministry that comes with conviction of a heart that is not in line with God. I'm not going to mention a name. We did have a vision. We did. A vision for the changing of the police lives in our country. We send somebody to the training base to become a chaplain. Every intake of 600 people per six months that is exposed to the ministry of the word. Let me say, just say, it was never a person who wanted to go there. It was us as a ministry. That we wanted to say, if police can be ministered at their infancy, with the ministry of the word, we can have people that are going to protect the country. I mean, the, our, our South, beloved South Africa. Unfortunately, people begin to see greener pastures. And look for other things. They left the base. I'm still crying for people who can say, I'm ready to go to those military, to, the, to those base. As if we want to change our country, military, a police force, and otherwise, all those training camps, whether it's a traffic training camp, we need to deploy chaplains in those areas. I'm not talking about chaplains, I'm not speaking about religious chaplains. Who we'll just I mean, come up with programs, just the programs of reading, just reading, uh, let's read the word, let us pray, something that I'm talking about. Covenant chaplains that are ministering from the spirit. Let's 
with people Abantu. who will be connected to the living God. You are going to say to these groups of 600 young men and women, you are our, our, our episode written in, in our hearts. Not with ink. But by the Spirit. In other words, what we minister to you is the Spirit of God that we also have. We're not going around and just talking about God, God, God. We know who God is. We are connected with God. We don't bring ourselves. We bring the sufficiency of the God who lives in us. That you also become sufficient of who you are. Sufficient of your salaries. Not wanting more than what you have. The ministry of the Spirit. I'm not going to be long. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Covenant keepers. This is exactly what we're looking for. So, the new covenant is the basis of ministry. The new covenant is the basis of ministry. Let's show. Bible says we also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant. Sufficient. Not of the letter. Here comes the, here comes the religion. Not of the letter. Is always, let me explain to all the new believers. <laughs> the Bible says it is the spirit that gives life. The words that I speak, John 6, verse 63. John 6, verse 63. John 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that gives life. It's Jesus himself speaking these words. The words that I speak are spirit. And therefore, they are life. The words that I speak are spirit. And therefore, they are life. The first thing that you do is to receive Christ as your personal Savior. That is, you get what we call rebirth. You are born again. Born from above. Now, when you read the word, this word in Greek it is called Logos. Logos is a written word. And Paul is reflecting on that here. It's a written word here. Let me just share some few thoughts. <laughs> okay, before I look. So, okay. Now, this is, but not of, but not of the letter. It's what you read here. But of the Spirit. If you are not born again, that's the first step. From above. You can read it. You can read and cite this Bible. It, it will never change. I saw the change. Instead, it will continue to destroy you. And you destroy yourself about these words of the Bible because your spirit is not changed. <laughs> I listen and I look at people. You realize as you speak to this person, this person has not changed. But he continues to quote 
the Holy Spirit, the what? He, he comes and you look at him and say, man, the first step is to receive Christ. Before we can talk about what the verses said and what I, and, and quoting the scriptures and sending the scriptures to people, yeah, now take a, be born again. Because Nicodemus had the same problem. But praise God for Nicodemus. He knew because he was a scholar in terms of the word. Of the law. He was a scholar. He says, this thing is not working for me. And that's why the Bible says, by night, he said, let me go to this man. man. I'm seeing this man who has come just come, who does things that, that no man can do. Let me just go and find out how this man, what is it that is helping him? That is a trouble. We know that we are from above. We are from God. Because no man can do what you do except that it comes from God. Tell me the secret, Rabbi. Because I've been reading this Bible. I've been teaching people in the synagogue. I've been carrying this word of God right through the law. But it's not helping me. And the Bible says, God says, unless a man is born again, my God, the Bible, it tells you everything. The Bible and, and, and it everything. Instead, it destroys you. It allows you to go and have, I mean, sexual, to go and be engaged in sexual immorality. Raping children, as we read about pastors that are raping. Extramarital affairs. Who are actually destroying, destroying and denting the image of the gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> then you will follow those people. And Jesus said, no, that's the only point. He says you must be born of the spirit. Ha -ha. Then Amen. your eyes Amen. will begin to be opened. Amen. When you read this Bible, Amen. that's why Paul is saying here, Amen. covenant Amen. keepers, he says, for the letter kills, Amen. I continued with what I'm doing, Amen. But, Amen. but with Head full of knowledge. But spirit empty. But Paul is saying, but the spirit gives life. Every word you touch, my lung, oh, it brings life. Because your spirit has been born from above. That's why the word is spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, this this letter what it kills. Let me just stop right there because some message I'll finish up when I talk to men. <laughs> the letter kills. We are pupu petelo Bible. We read. Quoting all the verses in the Bible. Quoting all the verses in the Bible. God will move at Chigale. Some of us are not Chigale. Some of us are hundred Because there's nothing stop you from going to those things. For you to have the life of God. And the Bible begins to have life and meaning to you. The spirit is important. It will give you life. You will never become an abuser. You will never be a person who is cruel. You will never be a person who abuses your wife, abusive of your children, and claim to be to have God. Because you will be a godly man. Guided by God. Led by the Spirit of God. If the Spirit of God is with you, it will begin with you. You will begin to have life as a man. 
Jenge umtu. The family accuse our yego board, but you don't drink when you are Your family will stop saying. It will begin to say, "She surely no dad." They will say, "We are with our brother." We are with our brother. There's a man in the house. Who called in the daily? Because the ministry of the new covenant. Ba ulungi sela lo alom no piso mcha. It changes lives. But it changes our own. And it proves that this is the true ministry. Shall we stand? Shall we stand? Let me just stop there. I think I could be young and do it too. Say to the Lord, praise God. Let's just lift up our hands and just thank God because it speaks to us all. Oh, my God, stand and stand as a man. Stand as a man. You know what's up, come on, turn on, shake, come back, shake. Rebe, be, 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 shake, come back, shake. Shimo, come, shake, come back, shake, come back, shake. Rock, come, shake, come, come on, turn on, shake, come back, shake. Shimo, be, 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 shake, come back, shake. Rebe, be, 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 shake, come back, shake. Rebe, be, 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 shake, come back, shake. Shimo, come, shake, come back, shake. My God, the Eu não mais o coro para beber beber chica para cá. Vale ganho 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 vale how excellent is your name in the name of Jesus you know the set your glory above the heavens oh out of the mouth of birds you have a dying place you have a dying place you have a dying place that you may silence the enemy in the name of Jesus thank you Lord you have a dying place 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 worthy to be praised worthy to be exalted oh Jesus Come on, just present yourself before God. Present yourself. Forget about any person. Just talk to your father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Oh Jesus. Si a bomba. Oh. Oh Lord. Jesus. Wow. Oh my God. Yo no vas a comer la chica no vas a entrar a la chica. Se va a hacer como cosa. Oh my God. We love you, Lord, we worship you. We love you, Lord, and worship you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, be lifted above all other. Oh, Jesus. We let her come. Save it from the spirit. Oh, Jesus. Let me 
Christ, Christ, who's our Redeemer, who paid the price for any sin that you can think of that you have you committed. Like, he paid the price because sin has got to be punished. And Christ, who Christ, on our behalf, and when he He said, "I don't want them to be punished." What and the fun born about Kwejwe? Let me be punished on their behalf. My even dim cause of Kwejwe again. That when he are, so the Bible says, "The Bible in it, he was smitten. It was it was bruised. What you use for our iniquities? Get my girl, you going to be? That you no longer going to be punished because of your sin. Because Christ was punished for our sins. It doesn't matter how many sins you can count and be taken tired in counting. But Christ paid the price of all those sins. You can start a new life and have a new beginning in life. If this is what you say, all those who are watching and you are here, I want my sins to be forgiven without being punished because Christ was punished. You can raise your hand here. You can raise your hand. You can respond. You can send a message via our Facebook, our, our, our channel, YouTube channel, and say, I want my sins to be forgiven because Christ paid the price of my sins. If this is what you say, lift up your hand now. Those who are here, and say, Lord, forgive my sins. Lift up your hand. I am this person. And I would love that my sins are forgiven. Not only your sins are forgiven. Sins are forgiven for a reason. Because God created you to have eternal life with him. He's going to give you back that eternal life with him. Not in hell. This is not trying to intimidate people. And still fear, but hell is there. There's nobody spoke about hell more than Jesus. It is there. You do not want to spend your life in hell. In torment. You want to spend your life with God. So, if this is what you say, raise your hand, we pray with you. Praise God for those who are here. But I want to pray for those who are there. You must come after me and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you I come to you as I am as I am as a sinner as a sinner who admits of, my, of his sins is on those I want to I repent of my sins and turning to you I'm turning to you to forgive my sins Give my sins. And give me this precious gift of eternal life. And give me this precious gift of eternal life. Because now I understand. Because now I understand that Jesus. That Jesus paid the price of my sins. Paid the price of my sins. I come to you. I come to you. To for you to forgive me. For you to forgive me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's give the Lord a big end of offering. Praise God. I visited, I like this church. It's a warm fellowship.
This program is brought to you in partnership with the Bush Christian Campsite, located in Coleridge, about 5 kilometers from the East London Airport. Enjoy our outdoor gym facility with nature as your backdrop. The campsite exhibits nature's beauty and is the perfect getaway for visitors seeking peace and serenity. Enjoy our conference and intimate wedding facilities and host your life's special events. Delight in our wonderful self-catering chalets, built with absolute comfort and enjoy your home away from home. Entertain the little ones in the kiddie zones, host kiddies birthday parties and fun activities for them to enjoy all day long. Come dine with us in our dining area and relax in our swimming pool area as well. Leisure in one of many recreational areas on the site. Catch up with friends and loved ones over a cup of coffee in our coffee shop. The Bush Christian Campsite, a home away from home. So, my baby, my eighty, he pulled me to my baby, and then come.